Hi everybody, it is Kim Wilson here with our October card class and we've moved to a, a new time. We're going to be the day before um, the in-person class for these online videos in our group here. And uh, today I'm going to start with the favorite layout cards. So this one um, is going to be really quick and easy. I'm going to be using the For Unto Us stamp set, which has uh, some lovely sentiments here. So let's grab out uh, one of those stamps to use. Hark the Her Herald Angels Sing. And we'll grab a kit here. I'm using the um, Ombre Specialty Paper, which is really beautiful and sparkly. And it's not really like a glitter paper because it, it's built in so much that nothing comes off but it's still just as sparkly as glitter paper so it's really really cool anyhow I do have some kits left if you missed out on a kit I think I have all my stars out of there all right let's see my bone folder close by at hand Okay, so there's my card base, and um, this piece is from Stitch So Sweetly, but this layout you can use, of course, with just a plain rectangle as well. Um, I'm calling this the three and one layout because it's three inches and one inches, so it's just really easy to um, cut up your um, 12 by 12s or your 6 by 6 designer papers to, um, to make this layout, and then, of course, four and a quarter. Um, or five and a quarter on the other side. So let's get some adhesive here and um, just start putting the card together. It's been a while since we've crafted together in the group. So here we go. Um, I'm using the liquid glue, but of course your other adhesives will be fine. And I'm doing the, I'm doing the Poppy Parade one just because I wanted to see how that looked. There's four colors with this specialty paper. We've got the, I think this is mango and the um, Knight of Navy. And then I can't remember what the, oh, the other one I think is Gorgeous Grape. So there's four colors. And it's kind of in an ombre pattern. So you can see a little bit that it goes uh, it's a little bit lighter on one side than the other. Okay, there's those pieces, and now I'll stamp, uh, stamp this guy here. Oh, I guess I need to find a block. Yes, here we go. And I'm going to use my Knight of Navy ink to match the, oh, well, to match the Knight of Navy, but actually maybe I should use a different color for this one. Let's try the, I'm going to go over and grab my Poppy Parade and see how that looks. Where's Poppy Parade? Here we go. Yeah, instead of using Knight of Navy on this one, I'll use, I'll make it match and use the Poppy Parade. I'm going to stamp that first on my scrap paper because I think I, my ink pad looks a little dry here. All right, Tark the Herald Angels. And then um, on the inside, I put um, Glory to the New Born King. So we finished up the first line of that Christmas carol. All right. And then I used Stampin' Dimensionals to put on this, uh, this piece right here. And this is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I use those a lot because they have, they're just a nice size and, of course, pretty with the scallops and the stitching. One more. All right, so we'll add that right there. And then some stars. For the stars, I used the Starlet Punch. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six different stars, and they're all different um, orientations and shapes and sizes so it's really a, quite a nice a nice punch and you can see I had some strips out and I just went down and um, punched a bunch out for class and there's more uh, little pieces I can I can just get more, get some more stars out by just 
putting uh, putting them in and doing a few at a time. So I'm not going to throw away those pieces because we can use those. All right, where did all my stars go? And I just used the liquid glue to add some stars to my card. So this easy. And um, you can use for this layout, you could use um, any sort of embellishments. Uh, some gems or sequins or some die cuts and okay, we'll just keep adding stars. I'm kind of putting them in the same places I put the other ones just because I kind of laid them out ahead of time and decided that I liked them in a certain place so went with the same layout here. And this would be a great layout for multiples because of the dimensions. You're not going to have a lot of waste and it'll be easy, a quick, easy layout to make multiples. All right. So there's my, my two cards for this layout and I'll sign off now and come back in just a minute with the next card.